If you're looking to build your team, make sure you head on over to CheapMaddenCoins.com for the cheapest prices, fast delivery, and 24-hour customer support. And make sure to use code WOLF for 10% off. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's King Wolf. Welcome to today's video. Now, today, we're going to go over a blitz, maybe two blitzes, to show you guys that you can start using in Madden 19 out of the 4-6 defense. Now, I am in the Jaguars playbook because people did request it. Now, the defensive blitz that I'm going to show you guys used to be really good until they patched a whole bunch of stuff and it's still pretty decent if you just make the adjustments that i'm going to show you today but before we get into it man make sure you drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel for more content also there's a new patch on the way i don't know what it's all about man but i will go over it with you guys once it is released i'm thinking they're gonna fix when i made that video about the uh, the whole glitch play the cheating play i think they're gonna patch that man i think i think we made enough noise you know what i mean it's coming all right so four six normal is the name of the play of uh, the, the actual formation is set and the fire zone three now i'm gonna flip the play all right i'm i'm always gonna come out with fire zone flipped on this right here and this right here variation is for unblocked running back so this could be your base defense on top of the other defense so if you're gonna want to blitz someone People like to use cover three. They like to use cover two invert. I'll, I'll go over those briefly with you guys. But for right now, let me show you the first blitz really quick. All we're going to do is baseline wire triangle left stick to the right. Then what we're going to do, we're going to pinch the D-line left on a D-pad, down on a D-pad, and then crash them down. Left on a D-pad, right stick down. Now what we're going to do is take Hayden, which is the blitzer, and we're just going to bring him over here. Just off to the side like this. And then I'm going to take my user and just stand in the way. Adjust your coverage according to what you think your opponent will be doing. All right, and make sure you have a decent user because whenever you're sending this kind of blitz, you need at least a decent user. Do you know what I'm saying? But you got someone coming right off the edge in this blitz, right? It's pretty cool. So base in line, pinch D line, crash them down, move Hayden over here. Uh, you can run hard flats by pressing wire triangle uh, right stick down. You can move guys around, shift these guys into coverage. However you want to do this, you can bring this guy down closer into the box. As long as you have it set up and then you come over here, hold the right trigger. As soon as he snaps the ball, uh, you'll notice that my man's comes right off the edge. Pretty cool. So if it's like level cells, I'm going to baseline pinch, bomb, boom, just bring this guy over here. I'm going to play underneath, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to take my blue and I'm going to man up Watson like this. That's how I'm going to do this and I'm going to shade outside just like that. That's how I'll do it. Uh, and then you can take whatever, you know, you can do whatever you want with the rest of the people. Whatever you want to do with the squad. You, you don't even have to play like I'm playing. I'm just saying this is this is how I would run it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to because I have, you know what? My mistake. Let's talk about this real quick. Let's go back into the formation. I want to show you guys something. For those that don't know, people that have been playing Madden already know. But for people that are newer, here in the 4-6 normal, look at the bottom left right here. You'll see me with the right stick. I keep switching the packages. You want the speed package. That puts fast you you have more defensive backs more corners and safeties you have more corners out on the field you know what i'm saying more defensive backs that have better speed so you can pretty much stop the run with the four six and you have some good coverage because these guys are faster now some of the defenses that are popular the cover three defense uh cover one hole i'll show you guys a way you can set that up really quick uh the rush outside is pretty good cover three match but the ones that are uh very popular are the cover two invert, the cover three defense, and you can run cover one hole like this. Let me just show you guys. I'm gonna share all this with you guys and we'll talk about the next blitz. Uh, old school way of setting this up is you could base the line if you want, right? And then you take your defensive line and put them into hards or clouds like this, okay? Now, yes, you risk the, 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 the chance of getting pancake because now you're taking people off the rush. Now you only have two down linemen. Uh, and then you could spy this guy, and if you think they're blocking their running back, and then you can just use the guy that's on the running back. You know what I'm saying? So let's say uh, this guy's on the running back. Uh, if he has a blocked running back, then you're fine. You know, all you have to do, you have so much coverage on the field. You know what I mean? Two-man rush, and you're just hoping that the rush gets there. Now, not a lot of people use that technique anymore, but in Madden, earlier Maddens, it was useful. Some people still use that, and they use it out of different formations and sets where you have actually three down linemen, you know what I mean? So you have a three-man rush. So be careful with that right there because you can get pancake since you're not rushing more than three. You know what I mean? You're, you're just rushing two. Okay. Uh, the next plate I want to show you guys, the blitz, is something that I would use if my opponent 
has third and long, fourth and long, and that's going to be the zone blitz. Zone blitz is very good against a block running back because it gets home really fast. So let's say I'm using, I use fire zone, right? And then I sack my opponent. Okay, now it's second down, second and long. It's like second and 16, second and 17, right? Did I really want to put the brakes on him? Because now he's scared of the blitz. He's going to block his running back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come out in this blitz. I'm going to base the line, pinch the D line, crash them down, okay? Move this guy down right here, Hayden. And I'm just going to come right here with my user, put myself on a blue, and hold the right trigger here. So if he starts blocking his running back, you have pretty much what's an all-out blitz coming off the edge. So third and long, fourth and long, these situations, these scenarios, this is the type of defensive blitz you want to use. Do not give your opponent enough time to make a read. So something that I would do online, if it's third and long, fourth and long, I like to take the risk. I like to bank on my blitzes getting there to the quarterback. Uh, I don't leave it to chance. Oh, I hope my blitz. I always bank on my blitzes getting there. So what I'll do is, is I'll baseline pinch, crash inside. I'll bring, I would bring this guy over here, right? And then I'll take my like middle blue, and then I'll put him on a hook curl, and then I'll man up these guys right here. I'll man him up, and then I'll man up uh, this guy. So now I know the problem is, you know, someone gets past my hook curl, then it's a wrap. And then right here, and then I, well, I actually should have jumped on my user. But you'll see, it's gonna be harder. I don't know why Drew Brees ain't going down. It's harder for your opponent to make a read because you don't need uh, to use your blues over there. You don't need to use them if you think your blitz is going to get there, use them in coverage instead. So you can man them up if you want. You can man up all of them. Uh, man up this guy. You know what? Actually, man up Y2 car. And then it's going to be up to me uh, to user that, to, to user Thomas. So snap the ball. Boom. I'm running for Thomas. Just like this. Banking on the fact that my blitz gets there. Drew Brees ain't going this. Hayden cannot tackle Drew Brees for some odd reason. If you, if you, are you guys paying attention to this? Are you guys watching this so far? So this, that is the blitz. This is the blitz right here. Now you could do the rush outside, but I don't recommend it because you come out in man alignment and people see that, people that are good at man and see that man alignment, they're gonna start burning you. You know, they got, they got some in their audibles for man defense. So if you come and you're man aligned, they're gonna switch, they're gonna audible to something like, like uh, uh, stop and go routes, things like that, crossing routes, they're gonna, they're gonna destroy you. Corner routes that they know exactly what you're doing. They already know what receiver to look for is what I'm trying to tell you guys. Uh, so baseline pinch, crash inside, and then move this guy down to the line, just like this. This is the look. Uh, this is what we're doing. We don't have no flats out there, but like I said, if he needs yards, you could take your people, man them up. You know what I mean? Take Y, put him on his zone. Take X, put him on his zone. Something like this. You know what I'm saying? You can have something like this, and then just banking on the fact that your blitz gets there. You know what I'm saying? So right there, and he just can't. Who is that? I don't know who that is that can't take Drew Brees down. So don't be using the Jaguars if you're going to be using the Jaguars defense. It's just not recommended. So what I want to talk about next is the actual defense because I've already gone over these defenses. The cover three. Uh, the cover three defense. Very popular out of the 4-6. I'm sure a lot of you guys use it already. And I'm just going to show you guys the basic setups. We're going to base line, pinch, put clouds out there. This is the base setup right here. And this is a decent base setup. Okay, uh, base setup, but you st you know you're leaving things on the field open. Obviously, you got you got a, a hard you got the hard flat over there. Could have hit that on a drag, but if this is the sell route, so everybody always goes to the right side. So that's a base base setup, base aligning, pinch, crash inside, shade over the top, underneath and over the top for cloud flats. So shade underneath, over the top, and now you get this look. Now another adjustment people like to do in this one right here is they'll take a, a, a D lineman, put him on a QB spy. They'll man up this guy to anybody on the field. So like, say, for instance, you want to man him up to Thomas, right? And then they'll take Jack and they'll put him on the blue. So this is going to be another setup that people like to use. You could take your safety and man him up to whoever you want, put this guy on a blue, and then all you got to do is use her the field. You know what I'm saying? Like, so now we're just, we use her whatever we think is going to be open over this side of the field, this side of the field, boom, boom, boom. And then you can send in your spy if you're if the quarterback rolls out. That is the ideal setup for someone who has a mobile QB like a Mike Vick, if you will. So I just want to touch bases, you know, on basic coverages. Uh, another one is to have the cover two invert, same thing. We're gonna baseline. We're gonna we're either gonna play underneath or over the top. We're gonna take the mid read, bring him down, and put him on a blue. You see what I'm saying? You see what's going on? 
And you could put him on a deep half, an inside third. I'd rather you guys put him on an inside third. Do not put him on a deep half because if you put him on a deep half, he's going to go to the right. Put him on an inside third, and, and, and this would be the, the, the ideal setup uh, for you guys right here. Spreading the linebackers is something else I recommend you guys doing out of the cover two invert pinching and, and, and crashing down. Always crashing down. Always crashing down. And if you need a QB spy, you take anybody. You can take your linebacker, spy him up if you're playing a Mike Vick, uh, things of that nature. As long as you have the four-man rush going, uh, you should be okay. So there it is, man. I showed you guys some blitzes to use for long yard situations. Got some coverage right here. We got a good blitz out of the fire zone, how to set it up. For unblocked running backs, you guys could develop an awesome defensive scheme just out of 4-6. If you guys are already using all what I'm showing you, let me know in the comments, man. If you're not, and this is new to you, man, start using it. Implement it. Jaguars playbook, 4-6 with the speed package. Make sure you're changing it. Make sure you have players that are good in those positions. Don't be like this guy that can't tackle Drew Brees. It's not a good look. Drop a like on the video, man. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I'll check you guys on the next one, man. Peace.